Tis the season of major software updates, and today we're talking BricksCAD v26. If I was to summarize the update in a single sentence, it would be, thank God someone is actually listening. To quote their launch video, we are hearing from, from designers design. and drafters around the globe that they are becoming increasingly frustrated with rigid licensing, high costs, and a lack of meaningful innovation and bundling policies that force them to pay for features they just don't need. The fact that this was in the very start of the whole BricsCAD version 26 update made me excited to watch the rest of the video. But I had to laugh throughout the product launch because there was just that small hint and that small nod to Apple and how they market and release their products. Hi, I'm Cliff Brown. Good morning, welcome to Apple Park. But having said that, this is a small company that's making huge efforts on their releases compared to other companies that I've recently just talked about who are multi, multi-million dollar companies and their product launches at the back office with two random people. So I gotta take my hat off to BricsCAD for genuinely putting in the hard yards and doing the right thing from the get-go. Let's dive into what's new in BricsCAD V26 that's critically important to us as architects and the architecture field predominantly. Mark and Julie, take it away. First and foremost, there is way too many features to talk about in one single video, and I'm not even gonna try to cover it. So we'll dive into the key elements that matter to us the most. In no particular order, I'm gonna start with IFC XREF. Now, this doesn't seem like a huge deal, but IFC XREF is an awesome addition into BricsCAD P26. It means that we can bring in our IFC files for our structural engineers, civil engineers, whoever we want to, who are collaborating with, and import them as a simple overlay rather than bringing the whole file into our project, which one not only allows us to streamline our project by massively reducing file sizes up to a quarter is what they're promising on the example, but at the same time, it allows us to document our way. As architects, this is critical. We don't wanna import structural engineers work and just use their column layouts and column grids and hope for the best. We wanna document them our way. They want to be shown meticulously, dimensioned and detailed properly. So by having the XREF there, we can check where their columns and features need to go and then we can document them ourselves. Now, this could mean importing the IFC, converting it, it could mean redrawing it, it could mean a whole bunch of options. But the XREF file allows you to quickly turn on and off these files when you're done checking and no longer need them. I'll also just quickly add that they've also added support for IFC 4.0 three for better alignment with plant and infrastructure projects briggscat is extremely well known for their point cloud data and their ability to process point cloud data quickly and efficiently with so many new updates to point cloud data in version 26 they've not only allowed us to experiment with our own point cloud but they've also given us access to numerous point cloud data sets so if you're interested in trying point cloud data this is definitely the update that's going to be the best for you. Some major improvements came to 3D elements of BricsCAD as well. So for instance, 3D solid manipulation is now significantly better with control groups. It's almost like they're taking the best of all software features, combining them into BricsCAD and making it that true CAD alternative that they keep harping on about throughout the release. So the control grips are basically allowing us to take any massing form, pull, push, extrude, or otherwise in simple forms in 3D, rather than having to type, adjust, move lines, we can do it intuitively. And now that we're in our 3D window, we also have the ability of 3D sectional splice planes. Now, this is really effective when you're trying to simplify one bit of information. It allows you to cut the 3D model exactly where you want and lose all the other information. This is a feature I use in multiple other softwares all the time, so it is extremely welcomed to see in BricsCAD version 26 as well. With obviously the splice sectional view comes improved 3D sectional grips. So just like the solid manipulation control grips, we now have that same ability and that same feature with the splice planes. It basically allows us to move our sectional planes up and down quickly and intuitively without having to type numbers and figure out our exact cuts. Moving on to more of the documentation side of things, Blockify has just taken off and it's getting better every single update. One of the latest Blockify enhancements has a bit of an AI feature built into it. So now when you select a basic 2D geometry and go to convert it to a block, Blockify will automatically detect previous blocks 
and ask you if you wanna just use that same block as before. This is saving you duplicates and streamlining your model for faster, better results. With our blocks, of course, now we have dynamic blocks, which we can adjust to our heart's content. Three different styles of dynamic blocks, parametric, dynamic, and of course, static. Static is, as the name says, it's static. You can't do much with it. Parametric is incredible because you're just adjusting and manipulating heights, widths, or whatever other parameter you set. And then finally, dynamic gives you so much more control of what you're trying to achieve. These three blocks combined give you unlimited options of how you can now start to create your blocks and use them for all sorts of different elements. BrickScad being relatively multidisciplinary, knowing which workspace to be in can sometimes be challenging. However, in version 26, they've streamlined the workspace selection. So as soon as you launch BrickScad, you're gonna be asked to select your workspace, making it extremely simple for any user, new or old. Finally, one of the last features I found extremely valuable in version 26 update is the command preview visualizer. Now, this sounds ridiculously simple, but you would have no idea how many times I run out of undo. So having the ability to actually jump in, adjust something in a preview mode to see if it works before I accept it and move on is just gonna be incredibly invaluable. Doesn't matter how many undos you set, you're eventually gonna run out of them. So having a preview in a separate space is just gonna be an easy no-brainer tool to use moving forward. Anyway, that's all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you wanna check out BricsCAD version 26, it is linked down in the description below. Like always, I'll see you next week.